on these bills. <laughs> and this piece of art is done by the boy Mystic. And here we go with his Samurai mm. Goku picture. And one thing that was really cool about Mystic drawing this one is he streamed the whole process on his... Okay, so I want to clarify one thing. Uh, I did not stream really any of it. Like, the only thing I streamed, pretty much, was a little bit of work on the landscape. Pretty much mostly for this volcano and a little bit of the one that's right behind it. Which, <clears throat> I I should have honestly probably put it on the side so you guys can see it more. But, to be quite frank, I was just like, yeah, I only got like a few days left. I'm going to put my ass in gear and just try and do this. Make it look as best as possibly can and then just slap it together. And I... I honestly didn't care if I went one or anything um but yeah I only streamed a little bit of like me working on the landscape everything else I didn't like stream or whatsoever but I did do a video of uh, me drawing the uh, master ultra instinct uh monkey samurai goku on uh, my channel if you guys want to go see it description in the description below and you know, it's pretty much the thumbnail like right over here um it was a fun piece like really really fun piece and now for the burns. Channel from beginning to end, and made this piece for the competition. Oh. Okay, I've just seen um, that works. And this one took a lot of time, and he almost didn't make it in time. He legit entered. Uh, so well, pretty much, um, it it didn't it did take me a long time, but like, I thought I was I, I pretty much was gonna like start literally on um when the announcement first came out for the contest. I worked a little bit on it, and I didn't work on it for a long time because of Dokkan and uh, Ark Survival Evolved. I was getting back into that game, and I was just all overwhelmed with so much stuff, like playing games and everything. And I was just like, oh, shit, it, it, it's so close. I got a couple week, a week or two to work on this, and, of course, like, trying to sketch it all, the sketching and, like, planning and figuring out what to do with it was just asinine. Because I'm not good at landscapes whatsoever. Like, this is probably... I'd probably say the best landscape I can ever do. But it's definitely... Definitely not the best. Um, but, yeah. It ...on the last day. And he worked on this for, like, two weeks or more straight. Also, uh, I, did po I did post it, like, almost at the last minute. But... When I posted it, we st it, there was still like almost a like half day, it's worth of like time. So it's like, uh, I, I kind of made it in perfectly fine. Like he was streaming mm. it almost every other day at least. Working yeah, on he was it. actively working on it, which was nice yeah. to see. Uh, the biggest thing about this art piece here comes Burns. Is there's our flaws because he kind of I feel like he rushed himself because of I did rush myself. So there are yeah. flaws in this art piece, and one of the biggest ones for me is where that neck at. <laughs> so I'm gonna clarify. Uh, and this is something I surprisingly didn't know that uh, King or not King, because King's not an artist. Um, Proto didn't get. So the reason why you can't see his neck, because one, it's like one Goku's buff. He's pretty freaking buff. Um, second, uh, and I'll, I'll pull up an image that like talks about like what I'm like talking about right now. But he's pretty much in a stance, a sword stance, to where his legs are bent. He's got his hand on the katana on the sword, and uh, he pretty much. And I'll, I'll talk about it later on with the other, what what's going on with the right arm. Um, but, um, <clears throat> but the reason why you can't really see his neck, well, in in some cases, one, uh, the other part of the neck is being covered by the uh, the rope that is holding the katana, um, which I did kind of also s sort of screw up a little bit. I I don't know. Yeah, I think I kind of sort of screwed up with how it's hold with the rope and everything. Um, and plus, when I was going into this, I was just like, I, I just got to make this look badass. 
Uh, but the reason why, and like, and see, this is like, this is where his neck is. It's like right here, and like the um, muscle right by the collarbone and all the places like in between the neck and the like shoulder. Like it's big here because he he's in a stance where his neck, his head is like down. I know this looks funny, but like, hit where his head's down, because when you draw you have your neck like right here and then you have your back being like you pretty much have your back being drawn along the way so it kind of looks like your neck is going in and that's pretty much how they have it in like some Dragon Ball images and frames and uh styles like and mostly if if Goku if the character wasn't buff you can you would be eat would have known easily where his neck is because it's not like buff super buff or anything but like when you see goku in most like power powered like forms his neck is pretty like big um that's why it's like that um let's continue <laughs> Where is that, neck at? Oh, that neck is gone i don't know the neck's that not neck gone it's it's like, right there i feel like there's a simple fix to that though too is just like a harsher drop shadow underneath the head will make it look like the head's kind of protruding further or even just making the head kind of bigger you know what i mean and see like with that it's it shows with like the uh where the throw is because this is more wide out from like the show like there's been there's pressure of him pu putting his head down so like the show that his head's down and is you know you're not seeing most of his neck because if you saw most of his neck this would pretty much just be like kind of more straight up like if it was like stretched out uh vertical but when his head's down it stretches like more out a little wider like not really wide because like when you have like the throat here it, it pretty much almost like connects into a v shape from like the jo the jawline below the ear all the way down as you can see with the mouse um but yeah uh no neck game like it's going like kind of as if it's forward more cuz he's got that like shoulder but he's also like the the shoulder's armor like he had on the right side of the picture like it gets so bulky and then it drops so much for the so i'm going to clarify on this as well um it does look it does look like it's kind of like lowered because of the uh shoulder peak the uh, shoulder armor piece um but yeah like the shoulder literally starts like right here so it, it really doesn't go down it's pretty much like a diagonal shape like this go this is like a higher shoulder it's higher up and then this one's like a little lower because he's putting his arm down to the sword and he's putting his arm up here to hold the sword up which that's the reason why, like, the arm, this arm is like this, and there's, like, nothing in the, his hand here, because he's holding his arm back right here so he can hold the sword while he's in his stance. So, like, the sword doesn't, like, wobble around when he pulls it out to, like, slay the dragons that are in the background. Because if you notice that from, like, having, like, hold, holding swords and, like, hilts, not hilts, uh, ropes and all that stuff, it, like, kind of, like, dangles a lot on the side if there's like if it's not tight enough or anything like that um but yeah the arm. And that's my biggest thing on the left side it's not as bad but it's on the right side uh where he's holding the uh katana uh that i had an issue with it just seemed out of place right here and it just makes the entirety of his neck just gone it looks like his back his back is fused into his neck. That's how I see it. Well, if you look at, like, some anatomy, like, the part, when you look at the part of the back, it is kind of, like, fused within it, especially if it's for, like, buff. It, you would have not really, you wouldn't really notice it all that much um, when it's, like, a back view or anything, but, like, in this current, like, certain kind of pose, you can, it, it definitely does look like it's kind of, like, fused within his back, but it's, like, it pretty much goes like in an arc 
and it meets like in sort of in like the medium range of the neck kind of where like the back of the hairline is of somebody and then it like it kind of like it looks like it's like own thing and then it twists pretty much around in that one spot so to be honest it does it does do that and you can see with like some anatomy and all that stuff his trapezius muscles steven trapezius yeah. muscles. um one more flaw i i've seen in this art piece uh is more flaws more flaws sword itself yeah yeah i like to clarify that as well <laughs> talk about that as well um i don't know what what happened but when i was sketching the sword and everything i lined it up perfectly um, I think it's mostly because when I was doing the uh, line art and stuff, I kind of like repositioned it. So like when you look at it, it goes straight and straight and it sort of goes close to lining up, but it's like, eh. and he does talk about how like, you know, so katanas are cur cur most katanas are pretty much curved and everything. <sighs> I don't want to sneeze. I don't want to sneeze. And he is right. But like, I pretty much just went with the concept of like, just an easy straight sword. Like, cause yeah, I, that's pretty much what my thought process with the sword was. I wasn't really going into detail, like being curved and everything because normally like, like, like I have some swords that are like katana, related to katanas and stuff they're slightly curved but most of the time they're mostly straight and like or you know they're mostly curved but yeah uh where it ends and where it begins it doesn't align yeah and that's pretty much just and based off like how uh my line art was when i was doing it it kind of got like a little messed up because my program does so, do that when it starts like wanting to line up with something else the way it's drawn is with a where you blade. don't want it. Those are called. I think they're called like ninja toes or something, where it's like yeah. a straight all the way across. Yeah, it, it would make more sense if it, if it wasn't a straight blade. Then I could see why there's a curve. But with it looking like it's a straight blade, it's a little bit like out of place. And one other thing mm -hmm. is, it seems like this hand is supposed to also maybe be holding a weapon or something. The fist. So, and to talk a little bit more about the f the fist on his right right arm, I was thinking about doing another like sword, but I was like, mm, kind of more like thought of just doing one blade because it it made it seem a lot easier and stuff. Um. And plus, it's also kind of to signify, signify how, like, Goku, when he starts a fight, he has, like, he, he puts out that one fist, and then he puts that one back in his, like, normal, in his, one of his stances. So, and that's pretty much one of the ideas I had with that arm. Like, he has it ready there, so, like, he has one hand for to pull out the sword, and he has one other hand to, uh, like, punch the dragons or move around with. And, you know, what I said before, pretty much also, it holds up, like, that sword, so it's, like, straight on, so he has, like, a clean pull out with it. Up. Pose just seems a little odd to me. But, yeah. that's just me. Yeah. I think I did... the... Don't I think mind I me. I really like the background, I think, the most about this, in, in all honesty. Mm -hmm. my personal opinion. Oh, I think the background is awesome. The background was awesome. Yeah, the background took a freaking long time to make. Like, the landscape was pretty much the most part that took most of my time with it. Uh, and the character, it's like, yeah, it, it could have done, been done, like, oh, could have done, like, some changes and all that stuff, but, of course, like, I did have to post it, like, very close to when, like, the event actually ended, so. Um, that's why it's pretty much a little bit, a little better, even though I really suck at landscapes. Like, there's so much in this art piece that I, I really did enjoy. This. Yeah, there's, like, volcanoes, like, lightning clouds, and, and there was uh, dragons. And, yeah. This art piece that we had. My um, god, there's so many flaws. When it came to, like, the votes and everything. But I really liked it. And one of the also things is 
I understand. Here comes some more flaws. Things is some people didn't see, even though he titled it Samurai Goku, he had the Monkey King Goku headband, mm -hmm. uh, the original uh, design for oh, Monkey God. King. Yeah, because I pretty much was originally thinking of going with like a samurai emulai -like Goku design, just as a samurai in like emulai form. But I was like, you know what, I can also just add like some design to the Monkey King, because, and this is why I pretty much took from the Monkey King design is pretty much the bottom of the sword where it has kind of like the same thing as the crown of the of the Monkey King, um, and then. What else I pretty much did related to the Monkey King is the wristband here, which I did the same color as like Goku's wristband, like the one I did over here, which is totally, you know, Goku's <clears throat> from Goku's design. And I pretty much mixed it in with that and the Monkey King's one because the Monkey King's one has like, it's kind of like ripped fabric um, and then it has rope and like sometimes beads and stuff. And um, pr pr that's pretty much where I got it from. And it, it was really fun, and most of the other descents were pretty much just based off, like, some samurai anime, uh, I, like, looked at, and just, like, well, and, like, pretty much, like, for the underclothing part right here, I pretty much just did that because, you know, there's dragons, and he pretty much slays them, so might as well put, like, some dragon-related stuff on him. Yeah, which I like that add-on, um. And he kept the MUI kind of style mm -hmm. hair. Just Which, and like with the MUI style hair, like, MUI it's similar to the actual MUI hair right here, and then it's still Which different because makes, it's like, like there's a hair type right blade here. Isn't the, the, the straight blade that he's holding is more for like um, assassins, like ninjas and stuff? Well, it's uh, called the ninja it. toe, Steven. Yeah, that's for like ninjas. <laughs> it literally sounds yeah. like Pro yeah. saying nin so ninja that just toes. It just, can't I just say something without you making it seem like I'm fucking being stupid? No. Well, Steven, you're always stupid. <laughs> yeah, for, that to happen, for that to happen, you have to not say something stupid. Yeah, exactly. I'm just pointing shit out. I, either way, I think this has a lot to it. That would be hard for Steven to be not stupid. So the thing I want to say is it's it's. Here comes more roast. Well, it's colored well. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing that needs to be worked on is anatomy, definitely. And kind of like... So the one thing with anatomy is I, I I still do have like some trouble with it, but in some sense I have gotten u more used to like some things like the head and uh, the chest and everything. And the anatomy is like not perfect, but it it's there. Cause, and if you like see like from with these lines and like all this and all the stuff on the line details on the chest and like biceps that's pretty much from like styles i've like gathered up along the way and just mashed it up all into one thing so pretty much like personally the anatomy is kind of like on point in some ways uh but mo mostly it's meh it's here and there but it's pretty much just like okay i i understand there's a time crunch but when you need to rework mm -hmm. a pose, you just need to rework a pose. It is what it is, you know? And I did rework um, the pose over and over again. Also, and like, just, like, came up with... Face is okay, derpy, this is... Lie. So, the one thing with the face is... I didn't go anything close to, like, uh, big eyes or DBZ-related things with the eyes. Besides, like, the MUI, like, pupils and all that stuff. Because this is, like... A samurai monkey king goku design this is not like um him and dragon ball wearing like an outfit or anything like that this is just him put this is like him put into a different universe and has like a different look and he just say about like with the ear and everything um most anime when the ear the top of the ear actually goes around here like above where the eyebrows are and there are plenty of anime shows that literally animes which i use like a tr traditional anime like style mixed with dbz which pretty much with those the eyes and brows stay around like the top and like middle of the ears and plus he is looking down and his head is down so it looks like to where it is a little lower that's pretty much why it looks like that eyes are a little low 
the kind of high now that I look at the ear. Yeah, the, the that's the um the eyebrow top of the ear line. That's it's not being really followed here. Uh, so like the shading is really really impeccable in some places. Like the hair, it's super impeccable shading. Mm -hmm. But like where you kind of lose me is the right hand side. Uh, the shading in the armpit and on the the. I would have to clarify on that. Yeah, like, like I, I did go a little you lazy on that. You just me in there, and it becomes super, like, muddy and hard to read uh, what's going on there. Um, and the tricep on that side as well. Uh, it's just, like, odd, oddly shaped and placed. Um, there's, there's definitely things I'd fix. There's definitely things I'd, like leave alone and there's definitely things i'd like to see mm -hmm. worked on yeah. but like in the end it's the the col like the coloring and the kind of aspect of getting those pr to look professional is uh is important enough that i'm i'm if i'm not mistaken this got a pretty good score either way and uh one other thing i wanted to mention i forget what it was but it was like, oh, I don't read like I don't super read Goku. The only the only thing that gave me a hint that it was Goku was like, the artist statement about what what you're showing. Like I kind of I kind of wish that I could so, see it and be like, that's Goku. So and the one thing is is like, it is a little harder to like tell if it's Goku because I did go with a traditional like anime style, so it is a little harder to tell if it's Goku. And plus, I did go and change, like, the hair style a little bit because he has it hair tied. And I, I like the aspect of, like, how uh, some Santa Ryan anime have that like, hair tie, their hair tied, if it's, like, really long. Um, and, like, and another way that, like, identifies that it's pretty much Goku is because he's wearing pretty much the uh, common blue, like, wristbands. And, of course, you know, the MUI hair and uh, plenty of other things. Like his wristband, his uh, waistband is also another giveaway. But yeah, it's there's not like significant where it's like, oh, his gi, that's Goku, or his black hair, or the shape of it. You know, like even the MUI hair um, doesn't it read looks, Goku yeah. at all. Like, exactly. The, the style that, like the way it looks and everything, does not think make me think Goku as well. But at the same time, I still like what you were going for. Yeah. One hundred percent. I think I think like it's it's good and it's a fun concept. Like I I've always loved people who kind of explore not people but like the the exploration of that concept of like a uh, like martial arts shonen, but like mm -hmm. you actually put it in a period piece. Like um. Like if you if you took like Spider Man and made it a western and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like just the thought does get this is like turning these things into period pieces. There's like a cool one that I saw a long time ago that was like Devil May Cry, but in the style of Bloodborne. Don't worry, my that hands was, like, are a really sweaty. Cool concept, and I think I think to play around with it more would be fun, but also like you know uh, try and do like I, whenever I'm drawing a character and doing that kind of concept, or it's like putting them in a period piece. Um, I always do a lot of studies of, like, what makes that character that character, and, uh, what makes that time period, like, the, the pinnacles of that time period, and I think that could have helped this piece, uh, to be done quicker, and to, like, kind of, um, <clears throat> be a little bit more cohesive. Yeah. One more thing that I just realized while looking at this piece, I don't get how that shoulder piece on the right... Are, are on the left arm is like fastened yeah it doesn't seem like it should be like that it should have something like holding it or something because i don't see how it's connected to the uh the body at all it's just floating there it's a simple fix oh damn it doesn't align properly there's a original i think being hard to read uh, like i'm i'm super read goku the only thing like just yeah. those thought processes 
drawing a character and doing that kind of concept where it's like fastened. It's like fused with the like the the fabric. The... Okay, so pretty much for the shoulder pad is I could have done and like done like a, a strap there, but the one the one reason why I didn't do that is because one like. Because I didn't really want to go in and like add like a little detail on like the armpit and stuff, and plus I did also like forget about it, about like that little area. Um, but yeah, I understand with that part. But at the same yeah. time, it's lifted. It's lifted weird. And also the one it's why it's like lifted like, right there yeah, is right because shoulder the shoulder is like literally right space, here. But there's no space for his arm. It like the shoulder's really right here. And the reason why it's all lifted up here is because it's all, it's being, like, yeah. um, like, also, bent together, I or, like, put a lot right here, right and it's, here, it's all pretty much uh, up. Also, <laughs> I, I, I was kind of, like, uh, laughing and sweating a lot at this little part. Uh, this is literally just the style of the like anatomy I have pretty much for it because it goes like like up down up down and I actually did not notice until like this point on that like it there was a little space that was kind of like messing it up a little bit uh, I was like ooh like, weird bump. like right underneath where that shielding is there's like an extra bump right before the elbow and yeah that's pretty much like, like in, in right the there yeah I don't Th that's know what I was just... saying with the with the tricep. The tricep is like a horseshoe almost, um, where it like bulges out right under the deltoid, which is the shoulder muscle, which is always very big on Dragon Ball characters, right? But it's a shoulder like soccer ball shape, right? Yeah. Right below that, on the back of the arm, is the tricep, where it kind of like juts out. And then I think of it as like a sand dune where it like juts out and then slopes back inward towards the elbow. Yeah. Um, and it kind of like it has a secondary mm -hmm. bulge, which is yeah, like he an explains odd it. choice. Yeah. So I think we're gonna wrap this one up and this is the final entry, and this entry by Mystic earned seventy four points. So mm -hmm. So pretty much going into this is I do recite the points and they're voting and all that stuff uh, because there was a, a little bit of like mistakes and flaws with the character because there always is art isn't perfect uh, I wish they went a little bit more in depth with like the landscape of and like counted that in because the landscape was entirely original like it was made from nothing um, because it was mostly focused on the character, which the character is the main focus, but it's also like, um, you know, in some aspects, I, I just wish a little bit of it was more done on like, kind of for the landscape as well, because that was also a big part that was pretty much added with the piece. But I, I'm pretty happy with the score, and you know, I'm pretty happy that I got into third place. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you go in the uh, description below and you will find Steven C. Killer's channel down there. Um, also with the video link to this wonderful art contest video that you guys are seeing right now. Uh, also, do go comment down below. Tell me how you guys thought about my art piece submission that I did. Um, any uh, criticism will be allowed and all that kind of stuff. Uh, also, let me know how you think about all the other uh, participants' work that they pretty much put into the contest because they did some really awesome work as well. Um, besides that, also like the like the video, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you like more reactions, please let me know in the comments because I might do some reactions here and there for like certain things. But I hope you guys enjoy. See you later. I see you, Steve. Yeah, keep eating cheesecake and you'll look like that.